Hey guys, bringing you another build video today, and this build's gonna be more catered towards endgame content and GM specifically, and I feel like this is one of the best builds in the game specifically for GMs. Currently this season, we have some of the hardest GMs this season, mixed with the new Lake of Shadows and uh, the Heist Battlegrounds Mars. I had to think about the name for a second. But I think this build will excel really well in there because it is a makes your uh, strand hunter have four different abilities that can suspend targets and have a wide AOE to make it just so stuff can't shoot back. It's very great at dealing with champions as two of the champions type unstoppables and anti-barriers won't be able to do anything to you while you kill them. And it's just really, really good at crowd control. So if we get right in the build, first up we have the Silk Strike Super. It's the only super we can choose from, but it would be probably the super of choice if we had anything else because this thing deals incredible damage, AoE and single target damage. So if you have a pesky champion, like your teammates are dead and you need something to quickly kill it, Silk Strike's there. If you need boss damage, Silk Strike's there. If you just have a room full of phalanxes that you just don't want to deal with, Silk Strike's there. It is a fantastic super to run around with and a great tool to have in your back pocket if you are in a sticky situation. Our grenade of choice is Shackle Grenade because it's, I, I think it's personally the best of the three. Threadling can be used in certain scenarios and grapple's fun as hell, but Shackle is the best in specifically if this builds aimed for GMs like it is, it, we're running Shackle. Shackle is also enhanced by our first aspect, which is Widow Silk. Widow Silk will give an additional grenade charge wherever, uh, with whatever grenade we're using. It doesn't specifically have to be grapple, which is a misunderstanding I see people think about because it's catered towards grapple with its second ability that will be completely useless with this build but that's fine we have two shock grenades that is fantastic our melee is threaded spike which will sever targets so it will reduce damage so if you are in a spot with no other abilities you can throw this at a champion or the boss and it will deal significantly less damage very helpful in a sticky situation and that's why we have gambler's dodge instead of marksman because if you do need to get your melee back you can just use one of your dodges it won't hurt you at all because you, your abilities recharge so fast with this build. The second aspect is Ensnaring Slam. Ensnaring Slam lets you use your class ability to dive to the ground like a Shatter Dive-esque ability, so you can suspend everything in the AoE around your slam. Very, very powerful mixed with Widow Silk and Shock Grenades because it creates three abilities to where you can suspend. And then we are using six Coyote so we get a fourth and a, or a second class ability, so a fourth ability that can suspend. The fragments we are using are Threat of Mind, which uh, whenever we defeat th uh, suspended targets, which everything is uh, suspended, we will get a ton of class ability back. Our second fragment is uh, Threat of Generation, so whenever we deal damage to those suspended targets, we also get grenade energy. So you can see like the synergy start to flow because whenever we suspend targets, which is all we will be doing with our abilities, we will get those abilities back that we use to suspend. Very, very useful mo uh, fragments, so let's get into the third one, which just extends our uh, durations for our, our uh, debuffs for this build. Suspend and sever are abilities that we have up constantly and are very helpful, so getting an increased duration to them is very, very needed and nice. The only issue with this fragment is if you do stun an unstoppable with your suspend, he will become unstunned in the suspend. He will still be suspended, so he can't do anything, but you will do less damage. So watch out for that towards the end of your uh, suspend. You might need to throw another grenade or a dive just to stun him again. The last fragment we have is picking up our uh, thread of warding, which picking up an orb gives you warden uh, woven mail, which is an insane damage resist. I don't know the exact number. I think it's above 80%. So like insane amount of damage resist. And this pairs really nicely with the artifact mods we have. Up next we have our weapons. And these are the weapons I chose to run because uh, I use a funnel web on here. It's the only really necessary one. And I have it on here because of overload, just so we have an option for overloads. And it'll be really easy to keep the stagger going on with an SMD because you can just keep them floating in the air. I have done it several times and it's very easily reliable if you just have them in the air and just spray them with the funnel web to send them again. LMG for a quick ad clear for the suspended targets and just some good damage since they got buffed this recent season. So they're very, very helpful. Last, I have conditional. You don't need this. It is on my, like... A character just strictly because I got it this week and I wanted to mess around with it. I think it works really well. It's nice, good uh, DPS outputs, but you can also just use Riptide get the about get about the same thing, like the same benefits, and you can just use Wave Splitter in the slot if you want. 
But this is what I'm running. Use Riptide instead of Conditional if you don't have it, and then Wave Splitter instead of Funnel Web. And yeah, those are the weapons. For mods, it's pretty much simple. It's just ability, energy, like, orientated. So what we have is our two siphon mods. These are our main way to get orbs and armor charges with this build because your abilities aren't killing anything, so you can't really use firepower heavy-handed. So these are the two ways, and it's very easy still. So Stace is on here for conditional or riptide, whatever you feel like using in voids for the LMB. So whenever you're spraying through all of your suspend targets, you'll generate a bunch of orbs with the void siphon. Reaper's on here just in case you need a roll to get your melee back, and it gives it extra benefit to the roll, so it's not completely useless. Those orbs will be turned into grenade energy via innervation by picking them up, and then when you also throw a nade, you can use your armor charges to get grenade energy. So you can stack up to three and get about half your nade back, and then on top of the fragment, it gives you grenade energy on top of damage. You just constantly have a nade up. Fire, our powerful is just on here, so you can give your allies armor charge. This is a very powerful mod and underused, so feel free to use it whenever. Impact's on here for when you do use your melee to sever things, you get grenade energy. Two resist mods, use whatever you want. This is what I chose because it's just all around neutral. You'll be close to a lot of things. So melee is good and then con uh, concussive is very, very strong. Void is on here for 10% damage buff because everything's tanky and then 15% or 15 second damage buff with time dilation. Those are the mods. Lastly, we have our artifact. Our artifact is pretty simple. It's just exactly what you would run on a void build. So we have overload SMD, which is important because we need something to stun overloads. And like I said, I'm using an SMD, so. Uh, discount mods are very important. I have strand on, you don't need this. You just need void and grenade to discount, and then you can have everything on. Shatter orbs is very strong against void shields, which uh, a lot of things have shields and GMs, so shatter orbs should be good. Bricks and Beyond is very, very good for keeping your heavy ammo, or your LMG with ammo. This, mod, this perk is very, 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 very strong. So whenever you defeat a champion, you should try to defeat him with your funnel web or your LMD, and then you can generate heavy for you and your teammates. Volatile flow, just so you can get volatile rounds on this build, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to on strand. So we had the void weapons on strictly for volatile and to melt through the suspended targets. Counterweave is very good for getting your abilities back, because you're using this suspend to stun your unstoppables a lot. If the strike doesn't have unstoppables, this isn't the most useful thing ever, but your teammates should have something for overload and barriers, so it sh it'll come in play, but it's more useful on unstoppable GMs. And then these two are kind of just throwaway mods. Uh, Prismatic's really good if you pop your super, because your teammates get the, I think it's a 20% damage bonus. And then I just have the sun because the other three are pretty much useless, and if you want to slot in a glaive for your energy weapon, like, you might as well. It, it works very well. Champions are very easy to deal with with this build because unstoppables are stunned by suspend, which is all you are doing with this build, and then it's also countered by conditional or riptide, whatever you're using. If you freeze a target and shatter it, they will stun and conditional also ignites with the second bullet, so that'll also stun unstoppables. So either way, unstoppables are just completely dealt with with this build. Same with barriers. If you suspend a barrier, they can't put up their shield, so they're basically just left there dangling to take a bunch of damage and die eventually. But if you do have Volatile Flow, like you just grabbed an orb for 13 seconds, you can shatter it with your commemoration. They're barrier shield, so if they're far away, you can just use a Volatile weapon. Overloads are a little tricky with this build because you need something to constantly shoot at them because they will heal if they are suspended. So you could just use Funnel Web, spray them with your, uh, with your overload rounds that we have on the artifact, or you could use Wave Splitter if you have that on, which will, with a full beam, so uh, suppressed targets which do stun unstoppables if they are suppressed. Uh, another way to deal with them is if you just want to run Riptide, one bullet from Riptide will slow them instead of freeze them, which will also stun unstoppables. So you can deal with all three pretty easily if you know what you're doing. That's about it for the build. Suspend everything or render it useless till it's dead. I wish you the best of luck in DMs tomorrow. Let me know if you would change anything in the build. Subscribe for more builds in the future and I hope you all have a great day. See ya.